All right, guys, so we caught a break in the rain here and we're actually outside the cabin that we're staying in while we're here in North Carolina. But we were talking to the owner at a get together that we had here uh, two nights ago and he was kind of telling us the history of the property. So now right over here is the river and I believe it's the Trent River, but I'm not positive. So he was telling us that this used to be, they used to do logging here and he's got a dock that goes down there and that right there where the stairs are now is where they used to slide the logs down into the water and then they would float them down the river. But he was also pointing out some trees here on the property on the other side of the house that I guess back, back, way back when we were still at war and stuff. Um, they used to actually dig their foxholes there and you can kind of see the river here straight through that way. They used to dig their foxholes over here on the side of the house and then they would point upstream or upriver and as the enemy soldiers were coming down they would snipe them off you know kind of one by one before they came around this bend here. So we're going to check out these woods over here just because there's nothing that's been developed. I mean it's been cleared but there's no structures. So we're going to check out these woods over here and then we're going to go to the other side of the house where all the vehicles are and check out over there where the foxholes were. So I'm going to be putzing around with the multi-cruiser. This is my first time doing a land hunt with it. I've got my e-tool over there and um, he detector is over there in the woods and he's actually using the impact. Now he does prefer the impact just because that's what he found the ring with in our backyard. That's what he found the necklace with. And that's what I've been setting him up with just because it's pretty easy to get the settings and go. So he's over there with the impact and he also has my Samson T digger. So I'll be using the multi cruiser and my E tool. I've got my Garrett pointer here. This is not the one with the Z link. So this is Seeker and he actually has Elsie with him over there. So yeah, um, I do have my snake boots on just in case. So I'm going to get geared up and we can get to doing some metal detecting. All right, guys, so I've got my first target here. It seems pretty solid in the high 60s, low 70s. And it didn't seem too terribly deep. So I'm going to check it with my pointer first. Yeah, it's not very deep at all. Okay, so this is a large target, I think. Seems like a large target. I'll put the machine down. So we're hoping that we don't get rained on. It's been raining pretty much all day. And yeah, we're hoping that we don't get rained on. Ah, yeah, that's a can. So, yep, yeah, I was kind of right. It's kind of a large target. All right. All right, guys, so I've got a very strange target here. It's bouncing all over, but it's got a very high tone. No idea what it is. I think it's pretty close to the surface, though. Seems kind of large, very close to the surface, pretty strange tone. Oh, oh. there it is. Hmm, pretty sure that's it. Yep, that's it. No idea what that is. It's another big chunk of iron. Just found what appears to be the speaker part, possibly. Not sure. It wasn't very deep. But I'm not quite sure how speaker parts would have gotten out here. <sighs> very curious. And key detectors way over there in the woods somewhere. Alright guys, so detector says he found ooh that's a spider web right in front of you don't walk in front of it 
I'm gonna go around. <sighs> this is my spider web ritter thingy thing. <sighs> Yeah. Belt buckle. I found a spoon right next to it. Half a spoon. Yeah? <clears throat> About two feet apart from each other. Awesome. That's a little silly stuff. Yeah. Alright, so belt buckle. Pretty sure this says, you said circa, what, 15 BC? Yep. 15 BC. We're, yep. I mean, there's definitely old land here like that in North Carolina. Pretty sure this is the square nails they used on the pyramids. <gasps> Ooh, I've heard about these. <laughs> I have heard about these square nails. I mean, everybody knows square nails are old too, but finding them here in North Carolina, they're definitely pyramid nails. That's like a little 22. Uh, yeah. It's not been fired yet. We can still mm -hmm. go stick this in something and shoot it out. <laughs> <laughs> Giggity. <laughs> I think it's drink 30 though. <laughs> drink 30. Yeah. Yes, you had. I think you were two beers in when you found the ring and the necklace in the backyard. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. We're and now I'm starting not drinking anything behind. and I found pyramid nails. <laughs> in North Carolina. <laughs> Backwoods in North Carolina. <laughs> it's nice out here, very quiet. Yeah. Except for that swamp o Zika There's right down the way. Of something in there? that's like running around and yeah. but back at the bridge I didn't go walk out on it but you can hear there's running water down there so I'm wondering if there's like a little hey, a river like a little waterfall type let's go investigate it all right let's investigate the bridge I'm gonna leave that here I don't want to carry it crazy across the bridge. yeah yeah lots of nails oh you yeah. <laughs> <laughs> holding the bridge together maybe perhaps <laughs> damn pyramid <spikes. laughs> So we got Moore's Swamp Bridge. This is definitely a sketchy, rickety looking bridge. Well, just right here. Wah! And slippery. Well, maybe only if you're wearing snake boots. I'll go first in case it is rickety. Janky. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Found a stream of some kind. Another. another another one. I've seen movies like this. People go wandering off into the woods and they end up being murdered. I don't quite see what's making it be in a rushing river. hear it and the water the water is like hardly moving oh is it beaver dam a little beaver dam huh interesting it's hard to see Spiderweb. Hey, it's really slippery on the sand, baby. Yeah. I might stop because I just walked into a spider web and I'm not a fan. This land digging is for the birds. <laughs> Watch it. Walk on that side. The yellow forest? Maybe. Hello? What do you say? Bring it near, 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 near. <sighs> Here comes our friend coming to check on us, make sure we weren't murdered by North Carolina uh -huh. hillbillies. Yeah, we just walked out across. Well, up until I walked into a spider web. Oh, okay, good. I'm glad you got that out of my way. <laughs> Am I here running the water? Yeah. It looks like a beaver dam right over there. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, what'd you get? Treasures? Find Amazing finds. All the treasures. You ever see one of them? Is that like a target of some sort? Eagle claw or something. That's for ammo, right? Isn't eagle claw eagle ammo? Eagle claw is fishing. Is, is it? it? Devil, yeah. though. Oh, like the hooks. Yeah. That's right. Does it hooks. open up? Mm. No. 
I'm wondering if it's like a some sort of. I thought it was an ammo, like a target. I was thinking eagle claw the ammunition. But you're right. No, I thought it flipped open. That's what I thought. I'm wondering if it's like a, a like a bobber, maybe. Now that you say yeah. the fish hooks, Kevin will tell you all about yeah, it. He'll yeah. He will tell you. He will give you a block of instructions on that particular find. <laughs> all right, where's the coins? Where's the? I found the 1870s? none coins. Oh. Belt buckle. Brass belt buckle. No shit. <laughs> We're pretty they sure. Don't make them folded nowadays, like that. Yeah. See how it's just beat up mm. or beat beat closed. We're pretty sure it's like circa 1680. BC, before Christ. That was ah. Christ's belt buckle. He wore all his. <laughs> we also found out of torn. We also found some square spikes that they use in the pyramids. So it's confirmed. The do the trees do continue up that way. Yeah. Okay. There's a Walmart around the corner. <laughs> 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 uh, you can just oh, well. <laughs> <laughs> There's a spider. Oh no! Glad you got him. Yeah. Did you get him? I don't know. When I was coming out here on the other end, no, got me. come out mm -hmm. on the dock, I'm like, man, the metal detector's going nuts. I'm like, holy <laughs> shit, what's all over this dock? I'm like, oh, nails. Oh, nails. <laughs> <laughs> nails holding this thing together. That might set off a metal detector. <laughs> this is mucky. Oh, look yeah. at how deep that sinks. Okay, look. Hey, what's your electrical wire in there? Look at that. Solar. 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 Okay. That looks so there's a bunch of air bubbles coming up. I think I'm about to open a sinkhole. <laughs> We're about to get sucked into a sinkhole. No, no, you're about to get sucked into a sinkhole. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go back over here. Mm -hmm. All right, guys. So here are my finds for my hunt today with the macro cruiser in the woods. So I found a couple of random, I don't know, bits of metal. Really no talon what they are what they're from other than random bits of metal this was kind of cool first i thought it was maybe like part of an old school desk or something but it's probably not <laughs> so there's that i found a couple of shotgun shell casing well not the whole casing just the back part these are winchester 12 and i'm pretty sure this one is also a 12. uh yeah western 12. 12 gauge so i found two of those I found a can and now these this here is interesting so originally I thought it was part of a speaker because it was like this and this was back here and it kind of looked very speaker-esque but after discussing with the husband or he detector he said that he thinks it's part of a lantern and the reason is because of this little part right here so he said that this is a part that you spin and then it and then it raises this part up and down. I mean, which I guess it could be because it does kind of move. Yep. But I don't know. So possibly part of a lantern. Now it is green. So the patina is green, which makes us think it could be brass. I mean, it's not rusty, so I could totally see it being brass. But found that. Then I found this. This was in a separate area from this, but it's got the same patina. So I'm thinking it could be from the same lantern if that is in fact what it is um and i think that's all my finds for the hunt in the woods i do believe so yeah those are all my finds for my hunt with the macro cruiser all right guys so these are the finds that my husband aka heat detector <laughs> found while we were metal detecting out in the woods near the cabin that we're staying in so what did you find this, I'm, thick, I'm guessing, is just some sort of transistor. Ooh, fancy. Ooh, you know what? This is this could be maybe what Tesla used when he was, like, coming up with the Tesla coil. <laughs> maybe this was, like, his first prototype. It may have been connected to the wires that I accidentally cut when I was out there, too. <laughs> <laughs> That's why the phones don't work in the cabin. <laughs> that is legit. I actually did cut some wires. I buried them rather quickly. <laughs> This, I have no idea what it is. Mm. Even cleaning it up, it just looks like a chunk of... Stuff. Something. Yeah. And it's weird because it's white. Yeah. So it's it's and not it, like rusted. It's the same as this one. Mm. These, these are the two we pulled over by that the big stump. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it it's... It looks white, but I have no idea what it is because it's very... It's light like aluminum. Uh-huh. But mm. I, I don't know. It's got a design on it. I have no idea what it is. It's interesting. It's curious for sure. See, it doesn't. It sounds like aluminum. Mm. Huh. Some of these 
pyramid building nails that we found just <laughs> over here from Egypt. Yeah, these are square nails, so they're definitely old. I mean, no telling. Maybe from when they were logging or something? I don't know. I don't know what well, year they were doing that in. This used to be railroad tracks, according to... Oh. What's her name? There's a bunch of railroad tracks around here. Mm hmm That used to be here. They're not here anymore, but... Yeah. I'm guessing that had something to do with it. Huh. Very cool. A 22 shell that's not been expended yet. Mm. Which is really kind of curious. Mm. <laughs> this looks like a 9 millimeter round. Mm-hmm. Firing pins off just a little bit. Yeah. See that? Mm-hmm. We'll do this first. Mm. We think this is some sort of fishing like flotation device like a bobber for like a oh. cage or something like that mm -hmm. crab cage or a fishing line yeah or maybe people were fishing for alligators because those things are in the river here apparently <laughs> we found a belt buckle very light and brass mm. and i'm guessing it's old because they don't do this folded over stuff anymore mm -hmm. i'm real curious to have somebody look at that that is interesting for sure and that's probably where those 22 rounds came. They're firing them off now. <laughs> <laughs> and then right near that, I found a spoon, part of a spoon. Oh, wow. That is curious because this is definitely rusted. So, I, I mean, I wouldn't yeah. think that they would make spoons out of something that would rust. But, I mean, I suppose back in the day, you had to make do with what you had. So, maybe. Yeah. So, these two things here I'm really curious about. Mm-hmm. And I have no idea what this is. Yeah. It's, it's brass. You can definitely see in the fold it's brass. Mm-hmm. I have no idea. Huh. But yeah, I'm curious about these two. Yeah. Oh, and then a shotgun shell. That one oh, there, yeah. too. There it is. Yeah. Yeah, lots of ammo mm -hmm. and spent ammo casings out there for sure. But, yeah, this is definitely cool. And same thing with the, bu the belt buckle for sure. So, yeah, again, you were out there with the impact, hunting with the impact. So... Not bad. Again, I think we were out there for less than an hour, maybe. So not bad. That's a good number of finds for a short hunt, I think. <laughs> so this Dude. is a fish bait basket mm. float. So mm -hmm. you sink the basket in the water. This normally has a big spring-loaded clamp on it, and it, your basket floats. Uh, does it sink when there's like more stuff in? No, that's what. It's just, this oh, is so it, just... it doesn't stink. Oh, okay. Stink. 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 <laughs> stink. stink. <laughs> See? What happens when you drink and metal detect? <laughs> you find stuff, apparently. That's it. So it keeps your nets floating. Hmm, very cool.